Hey everyone, welcome to another one of Dave's top tips here at CX Experts. Uh, my name is Dave, as mentioned, head of customer success at CX Experts who do one thing and do one thing really well, and that is implementing and optimizing Zendesk for you. Uh, and today we're going to talk about something that I've received a lot of questions and queries about, and it has to do with the way that our Zendesk emails look. Now, a lot of us have reservations when moving to a platform like Zendesk because we, we want our emails to look good. We want our emails to have a header and a footer and have a specific style. Um, when we get Zendesk, when we activate it in the first place, uh, emails can look pretty um, pretty stock standard. And if you're looking to slip Zendesk in without anyone noticing, this is definitely the way the way to go. And that's why it's the, the default way that we do things. But if you do want to add a bit of pizzazz, like a header and a footer, maybe a nice signature, this is all easy to do and can be done with uh, relatively little uh, knowledge of, um, of HTML. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you don't know what HTML is, that's fine. Don't stress. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, Emails tend to look like this, and if we've uh, ex you know um, improved the experience slightly, it'll have a little picture with your name and uh, you know some some text over here. But what we really want it to look like is to have a nice header and a footer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into uh, my Zendesk and I'm take you into the admin platform and show you where you can find your HTML template. So if you search for email in the admin, admin console, we open it up there. Uh, and while this opens up, we're actually going to build a new one from scratch. Uh, today without any preparation we're just jumping straight in if we scroll down uh, we'll see an email template that i have written and that you are welcome to get from us uh, feel free to request this from us at info at cxexperts.co.za it's not the stock one but you can take it um, you can put it into a an html visualizer copy it in and here we're going to see that uh, our emails look pretty simple we have a nice big purple header and then in the footer uh, we have our website and then powered by zendesk now we, we do have the ability to edit all of this, as long as we keep the all important content placeholder there in the middle, don't edit that, don't change that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a template for a company that we created fictitiously called Lemon Electric. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the color scheme. Uh, so let's find a nice color with a, a lemon. For lemon, oh, we tend to go with yellow. Uh, I don't know, I think I like the, uh, let's go with a green background. Quite like the green so let's go find the green that we like i quite like this green i'm just going to take my color picker tool um, and i'm going to find it and i now have it logged uh, on my color picker tool it's 8d whatever whatever uh whatever that hex code is you can find it you can change it and at the moment this html is pulling in a hex code for this purple over here and if i want to just double check what that purple is i can just find it over there and i can see that it's that one with the B6. So we're going to find, let's see, um, let's see if we can find all those ones. And all we're going to do is we're going to replace it with our new lemon um, one over there. So there's the background. We're going to keep replacing these uh, until all the purple is gone. And we're going to keep replacing, keep replacing. Uh, do we have any more? I think we have a bit more purple over there. Some more purple over there, some more purple over there, uh, some more purple over there. Cool. And all the purple's gone. Simple as that. Uh, next, we're going to find ourselves a nice little uh, uh, 16 by 9 logo. So let's just choose this one, for example. I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to put it into a background removing tool, which is again free online waiting for you. And I, I don't know whose logo this is, but I'm going to steal it for this, uh, the purposes of. Uh, this um, demo, so they've got my lemon. And now because we can't drop and drag things in here, we would need to upload this uh, into a, so we can turn it into a public URL. I tend to just do this in my guide. So I'll go into guide. Uh, this is our guide, guide admin, um, visualizer. And I'll go into a theme where I can access the code, like Copenhagen, edit the code. And then I'm going to upload this as an asset. And again, I'm doing this without any preparation just to show you how easy it actually is. Uh, there's the lemon. I'm going to drag it in. I'm going to go in. And I think it has. There you go. There's the lemon. So I'm going to copy this image address. And I'm going to go and see if I can find where I need to replace it. I think it's going to be the first link we have. Uh, it's going to be this one here. Paste it in. Oh, there it's lemon. But now it looks a bit weird. So I'm going to. I'm going to change the dimensions a little bit and where we put that in over here 
Um, see, uh, where we put it in? Yeah, we put it in here. I think we can go check this if we want. So see, that's right one. And there's the lemon logo. So I'm going to just change the the width of it or the the height of it. I think uh, let's go the height. Let's make the height thirty. No, that wasn't it. Uh, here, width in the. So let's make the width slightly smaller. So let's make the width two fifty. We can play around with this to make it you know, look higher we want. But if I make the width to zero, it's just gonna go to its default settings. I can change it. I can edit it. I can do whatever I want. Uh, I don't like that green though. I don't like this logo, so I'm just gonna remove it and I'm gonna put in another one. How about we just find a simple lemon without any green on it or something similar to that uh let's go yeah lemon energize why not copy image put it in my background remover there i'm going to download it uh lemon number two save it um i'm going to upload it into my so it probably says no special characters. Yeah, so I need to rename it. You get the error, don't stress. We're just going to rename it to lemon2. And we're going to put it in just like that. There it is, lemon2. And I copy the image address. And I'm just going to go up to you and replace my image, which I think is the first link. Uh, One second while I just find it again. Uh, okay, what well, can just insert an image? I'll just insert an image here. Uh, insert image from a link. Okay, and there it is. Uh, I can play around with this. I can make it bigger. I can make it smaller. I can crop it if I need to. Um, put it on the left or on the right. Uh, we can play around with a whole bunch of things here, but I can make this all sensitive if we need to. Um, I'm going to keep editing this. I've changed the color, put a little logo, and we can find we do have a Facebook uh, little icon there as well that we brought in in the same way. And when it comes to Facebook, uh, we can just change the link that the Facebook uh, logo goes to. Uh, I have a LinkedIn as well. As well. LinkedIn, there you go. Uh, and I can just change the link there so these links go to the right place. I can do the same. I can edit this in any way I want. Uh, if I want to, you know, link this to a specific website, I can click on it, insert a hyperlink to what's here today, and now this will link to, yeah, uh, this will link to Lemon Linux here today. I can play around with this. Um, you, anyone should be able to do this. You should be able to center it and do what you want with this uh, specific platform. Um, as long as you're using the template that we provide, you should be able to replace the links and play around, make it look the, exactly the way you want it to look. You can also do a fancy signature here at the bottom if you have some time and someone who knows and speaks HTML. Uh, and once you're done, all you're going to do is you're going to take this HTML, you're going to replace your HTML with it, and you're going to click save. And then any new emails that come through will look like this, and I will show you uh, what this looks like. This is a test. This is a test. Let me, um, just to give you an example about what it looks like, that's the request I'm going to put in a CX Experts employee. There's CX Experts employee, or Babu Frick as I call it. I'm going to submit. And as soon as this comes through, what we're going to see. Uh, as soon as I get rid of this, is when the email does come through. And we can just go check that it did send. Oh, let's go check that it did send. Yeah, there you go, sent. And there's our new inbox. And you can see we have our lovely logo that links to CX Experts, our Facebook page, our LinkedIn page, uh, our content, which includes a picture of me, and then all the lovely stuff here at the bottom that we all were able to play around and manipulate using this HTML. Uh, if you would like help with this or would just like the template to edit yourself, feel free to uh, pop us a mail, info at cxexperts.co.za. Thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.